Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives. Got another video for you today. Another unboxing, if you will, of a Civivi knife. Uh, when I first saw this knife pop up, uh, I, I was excited. Uh, I just loved the way it looked and uh, I just, I knew I was going to get it and I got it. So let's crack into it. So as with always, Civivi always comes nicely packed. Um, this is my third one now. And everyone's been packed the same. You know, you get your nice Civivi box. Of course, you get your nice Civivi little zippered pouch. It's felt lined. Zip the sucker open. You get this little card here. It says Civivi. You get an Elementum sticker, like always. You get your product uh, warranty information card info. Of course, a little cleaning cloth that always comes with it. The nice, like I said, felt lined zippered case. Store your knife in. And of course, they always come in a little baggie. Let's get this sucker out. And what do we have here? The Civivi Banneret or Banneret. I'm not sure which way you say it. It's either Banneret or Banneret, but I think it's Banneret. But this is the green canvas micarta version. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very slim. Very compact, uh, what I would call like a gentleman's knife. Um, you know what? Hold on one second. Let me get the specs on this for you real quick. Hold on. We came back. Sorry about that. I uh, had to get the computer open so I could get the uh, spec sheets off of this. Uh, so this is the Banneret. The overall length is uh, 7.9 inches. Width, you're looking at 1.03. The overall height with the clip, you're looking at 0.68. You have a blade length of 3.48 inches. It's a handle thickness of 0 0.47. The knife weight is 3.92 ounces. Uh, blade material, you have Nitro V steel, which is nice, very nice. You got a blade hardness of 58 to 60. It is a flat grind with a black stone wash finish and it is considered a drop point. Uh, the handle material, you have a stainless steel. with This is a stainless steel right here. And then you have a uh, canvas micarta inlay, which is very nice. It's, it's like a black, dark green. Uh, you have tip up, left or right carry. Uh, you got a stainless steel clip. And uh, cage ceramic ball bearings with a frame lock. And what's kind of cool is on this frame lock, it's the only part you see is this one part right here, which is pretty cool. And it works really well. Push it down, then just closes right up. You have one little flipper tab right here with some light jimping on it. It's very minimal, um, but you, you can still get a, a decent purchase on it to flip it right open. And it flips open nice. Let me close this down a little bit so you can have a glare. Look at that. Very, very nice blade. Very clean. There's no markings on it anywhere. If you like that sterile type blade. Um, very light in hand, but I, yet I am able to get a full grip on it, as you can see. So you have plenty of control. You can get your thumb on this jimping here on the back if you need to do some harder cuts. Uh, it's not quite uh, drop shut. I have to give it a little bit of assist, but I think as it breaks in, it will eventually be like drop shutty, if you will. I could probably even loosen the pivot, uh, pivot screw a little bit and make it a little bit looser, but I don't mind having to assist it down. A little bit if I push the lock down all the way uh, this canvas my card is really really nice looking I really like the way it transitions into here um, there's no raised area this is nice and flush you have these what they call speed hole cutouts I get I think it gives it a nice cool look but everything's flush uh, one thing I did notice if you're a lefty you might want to watch out for is if you're left-handed and you're placing your thumb resting your thumb onto the lock bar and you try to open it because like you're you're pinching it shut right you're gonna have I can't push it open because essentially you're stopping it from opening with your thumb inadvertently obviously so you're gonna want to make sure you have your thumb off of this lock bar to open it um, just something to be aware of if you're a left-hander um, you want to ride your thumb behind it or off of it a little bit so you don't accidentally stop it from deploying like this. Like I'm trying to deploy it and I can't. 
I mean, it doesn't even really take that much pressure to stop it from deploying that much pressure on the bar here. So it's just something to be aware of if you're a left-hander. Uh, Right-handed, no problem at all. You can, you're not really, you're not on it at all, as you can see. So just something to be aware of if you're left-handed that you might, if you're not watching where you put your thumb and you're resting it on here, you're going to have a difficult time deploying it. Um, but this is a really slick knife. Um, I think it's, it's got a real cool look to it. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing in its simplicity. Uh, I feel like it's definitely something if you're wearing suits, khakis, or something like that, this would be a good choice to carry because it's not, you know, over, it's a good size knife without being overly intimidating, if you will. Um, that's what I like about this one. Um, on their website, this is retailing for about a hundred. This is what one twelve forty. Uh, I'm sure if you look around at Blade HQ Knife Center, uh, any of the places wherever it is you buy your knives, I'm sure you can find this for less than that. Um, that's just the MSRP on it. Blade came out super sharp. Um, it's got it's got this nice flat grind. I mean, you're gonna be able to. It's gonna be super slicey. Um, oh shoot, I don't have anything to slice through. Ill prepared today, y'all. Ill prepared today. Let's see. Let's go through. Let's check out and see how it cuts through my warranty card. No problem. Nice and slicey. Uh, for size comparisons, let's, get, let's do a little size comparison here. Uh, we'll start off with the Tops Knives MSF folder. Let me switch my hands around here. So you want to get a good look at that. See the. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit longer blade with the fan array. Um, jump into like a cold steel recon one, which is a full giant full size folder. Obviously, it's way bigger as you can tell. Um, let's go to cold steel Espada medium, the cold steel medium Espada. These are some knives that you guys might be a little bit more familiar with the Savivi Bull Mastiff. You can see here, obviously the bull massive is way larger. Um, go with the Civivi Cinesis. And then we have a CJRB Caldera. You can see there, about the same size. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing any of the videos I did on the Caldera, the Cinesis, or the Civivi Bull Massive, uh, go back into my videos previously. I did videos in each one of those. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in a nice, gentlemanly type folder, as I would call it, I think this is a good option for you. Opens very smoothly, very slick. Um, it's, to me, it's not heavy. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not heavy, um, if that makes sense. I am also a bigger guy, um, so I actually don't mind heavier knives. They don't really bother me. Um, I'm typically carrying a lot of stuff in my pocket, so it kind of <laughs> it doesn't really bother me that if it's got a little weight to it. Some people that's an issue, uh, but I don't know what I say this was uh, 3.9 ounces. I don't think it's too bad a weight. Uh, so the Caldera is coming in at like 4.9, as well as the Bull Massive. I think is like five. I think this is 4.8 as well. Um, so those, they're all, I guess, fairly heavier. Um, the stainless steel liners are skeletonized a bit. Uh, basically, they're skeletonized with the speed holes. The speed holes act as the skeletonizing holes to help reduce some of the weight with these uh, liners. Um, this is reverse pocket carry, by the way. As you can see, there's the holes for the left if you want to switch it. I uh, believe it's T8 hardware all the way around with the exception of the pocket clip screws. Those are T6s. Um, so if you got to take it apart or anything like that, it should be fairly easy to do. Um, but there it is, guys. The Savivi Battery. Very, very slick knife. I really do just love the simplicity of this blade. It looks as simple as it is. It's... It catches the eye, I feel. And there is a nice little type of swedge right here on the top. I don't know if we can get the camera angle to focus on that. You can see that little bit of a swedge there. There it is right there at the top. 
it's on both sides, so it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's real subtle, and it makes it give it gives it a real kind of slick look. Let's see if we can get that on there. But there it is, guys. If you're interested in picking up one of these banner rays, check your local favorite knife stores, Amazon, or buy it directly from Zavivi. Um, looking on their website, it looks like they have like a rewards program you can sign up for. Uh, which is pretty cool. I guess you can earn points and things like that and you know for discounts on future purposes purchases and so that's kind of cool. So give their website a look too. I mean that's where you're gonna find all the new stuff first, right? So there it is. The Savivi Banneret or Banneret. If you guys well, I wish I could say let me know in the comments how to say it, but I wouldn't hear it. So anyway, hey thanks again for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me through these folding knife reviews. Uh the more I do them I think the better I'll get out of them again. If you're not if you're new to my channel i mostly do fixed blades and so kind of getting into these folders it's a little bit different for me to and, and as far as reviewing them and um but i'm really liking them i mean I'm, i've been really happy with the folders that i've picked up um to review and show you guys and uh, so far they've all been really nice knives really awesome knives and um, i'm glad that i have them and i'm definitely going to be rotate rotating my carry with these knives so there it is I'll give you one last look at this sexy knife oh and in case you are interested one last thing i'll tell you the other versions of this knife they do have a stainless steel handle with a g10 and carbon fiber inlay with a damascus blade um, that one's running like 128.80 on their website then they have a stainless steel handle with a G10 inlay, which is just all black. And then um, your uh, bolster here, if you will, is uh, stainless. It has a stainless look to it, or it is stainless. And then with the exception of the Damascus blade, you are running Nitro V still on the other two models. So there it is. Hey, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Stay safe, stay sharp, and we will see you next time.